Mm, 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 mm. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> guys welcome back for those of you who have not been here before hello I am Stacia Gray and this is today's slay before you put any makeup on your face it is very very important to prime and moisturize the skin so for that today I am using it cosmetics bye bye line serum Next, we're gonna go in with the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. It blurs your fine lines, fills in your pores, so I tend to just keep it right around my nose area, in between my eyebrows, places where those enlarged pores tend to happen. <laughs> so many new things! They're new to me, probably not new to all of you, but I'm excited. Yay! All right. This may just end up being like first impression slash wool tone makeup tutorial. <laughs> okay, this has been on the market for a hot minute, but I I don't even think like there's a train on the tracks for this anymore, but I totally miss the bandwagon. I'm really excited to try these new Huda Beauty products because I have heard so many mixed reviews about like their easy bake powder and about how it's like the scent is like way too floral you guys want some advice always have a good pair of scissors on your makeup desk oh she's so cute the girl in the back you guys ah should i use this i feel like i need to it's happening Oh my gosh, this is so cute. It comes with like a little medallion. Can I just say that Tatcha products, like Tatcha takes the cake when it comes to packaging. I wanna like throw this through the camera so that you guys can smell it. Oh wow. All right, we're, we're priming. We're using this moisturizer. I got way too much. I'm excited. I'm getting too excited, you guys. <laughs> I put way too much. Now I look like Casper. <laughs> it's my first time using this product, so... First impressions? Yes. For our foundation today, we are going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Natural Beige. For this, I'm just gonna do a few pumps on the back of my hand and work that into the skin with a beauty blender. Oh, that actually looks nice. I can't tell you how long it's been since I put my foundation on with a sponge. A lot goes a long way. It's got a really nice finish though. That whole experience was very odd. <laughs> it felt so weird. I don't, I don't know how I feel about the foundation yet. I'm gonna have to see how it wears. But like I said, I, I haven't heard anybody say anything negative about it, so. We have high hopes. Okay, concealer. So I have two new concealers here, and I have the Huda Beauty and the Born This Way. I feel like I should do the Born This Way, but I'm really curious about the Huda. So we're gonna try this one today. We are using the Huda Beauty, the Overachiever Concealer. Oh, this is so cool. It's like a metal tip, so it's cooling, which is supposed to depuff underneath your eyes. I see what you did there, Huda. I'm about it. So we're just gonna do our under eyes because I don't know how this dries down or if I have to work quickly with this product. So we're just gonna work that in with another beauty blender. I'm actually loving this concealer. It may be a little light for me, 
To set our under eyes, we are going to use the Huda Beauty Banana Bread Baking Powder. Now it's time for bronzing. If you guys have watched any of my other videos, you know that I love, love, love these two products. Um, for today, though, we are going to focus more on the Butter Bronzer because it is more cool tone. I think that it's going to complement our eye look better. And yeah, so we're gonna be using this one today. Going in with our NARS Eda brush. <laughs> so now we're just bronzing our forehead. So for our nose contour today, we are going to use this small angled brush, going in very lightly, starting at our eyebrow and just taking it all the way down to the tip of our nose. Same thing on the other side. Using the Nurse Eda on the tip, just like we always do. Going back in with that tiny Sephora brush and a little bit of the Butter Bronzer to give ourselves that cute little doll nose that everyone likes, you know, like a point. We are just going to create a shadow right across the top of our nose to give us the illusion of having a cute little button nose. And I'm just kind of going back and forth right now until I get it exactly how I want it. For blush today, I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution blush palette and we are going to be going in with these two cooler tone shades on a Y4, just dipping in back and forth and putting those colors on the apples of our cheeks. So those shades on my cheeks are just a little bit too warm for me. So I decided that we are gonna use the NARS blush in the shade Golu. Golu? I don't know. But we're just using that same blush brush, the Y4. And just going right over top of that. <laughs> Song like pulls at my heartstrings. We're using this palette today. For this cool tone look today, we are going to be using the Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection palette called Bling Boss. And we're gonna use the color Hush Hush as our transition shade. We are just depositing this color all over our lid. And you know how much I love to bring it all the way in. I feel like this really makes a difference on this specific eye look as well. And you guys will see why in a little bit. It's just, oh, it makes everything so flawless. So I feel like I should address the elephant in the room. My lashes or lack thereof. <laughs> um. Love this eyeshadow already like just this color on the lid is so pretty all right well we're using the sephora brush pro airbrush crease in the number 31 and we are using the bell jordan palette going in with the shade 1706 you don't need to be extremely precise with this this look is going to be very very blown out you guys can quote me on this right now Cool tones are coming back. Cool tones are making a comeback. 2019, it's happening. You heard it here first. Just blending those colors together with that first shade that we put down, the Morphe M441. For our next shade, we are going to use Mama's Girl, which is from the Belle Jordan palette and this little pencil brush. Now this shade does have glitter in it, um, but we're gonna use that in our crease, which I don't normally do, but I feel like it's gonna be fine just to deepen up that outer crease. Okay. 
Then using a clean M441 from Morphe, we are just blending all of that. Using that same Belle Jordan palette, we are going to go in with this shade right here called Glow Baby and a flat shader brush. And we're just going to place that right here on that lid. So I think we might deepen up that outer crease a little bit Bit, but first we're gonna go in and do our eyeliner and then we'll assess after that So for eyeliner today, I am going to be using the NYX matte liquid liner and then I think Yes, we're gonna do a little bit of a cat eye. So Hello world This is my little boy. His name is Oliver Alexander. Oh And he is the love of my life Hi, buddy. He's a rescue. Oh, but who rescued who, huh? You rescued mama. Oh, I love you. Yes, I love you. Okay. If you don't mouth kiss your dog, we're not really friends. <laughs> you wanna say hi to all the black hearts? Say hi. So after finishing our eyeliner, I feel like I need to deepen up the lid just a little bit. So using the Morphe 35K palette and this shade right here. So we are going to deepen up our crease and along the lash line. And then blending that all together with a clean M441. For our lower lash line today, we are repeating the steps that we used for our top lid onto our lower lash line. So going in with that shade Hush Hush from the Bling Boss palette. For a little bit more definition on our bottom lash line, we are going in with the M432 flat line definer brush. And from the Belle Jordan palette, we are using this black shade called Lola. Just dipping into that color, and we're gonna focus this on the outside of our eye. Keeping that color very, very close to the lash line. Then using an e.l.f. pencil brush, we are dipping into the shade 13. And we are just diffusing that black. For our inner corner highlight, as well as our brow bone highlight, we are going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero collaboration. I don't think that this is available any longer, so whatever inner highlight you wanna use, go ahead and just slap that on your face. <laughs> I just, I sound like such a lady. Go ahead and just slap that on there, but we are going to be using this shade right here called Forever Young. You guys can use whatever lashes you have at home, whatever lashes are your favorites. I'm just using some Ardell Wispies today. We are just gonna pop those on very quickly and I'll be back to highlight. All right, you guys, so I just popped on some lashes and put on some lower lash mascara. Now it is time to highlight and for highlight today, I haven't decided if I wanna go in with a liquid highlight and then top it with powder. Okay, I, I literally can't make up my mind. I don't, I don't know. Okay, no, no. I think we're just gonna go in with the Champagne Halo Lumiere Highlight from Makeup Studio. You guys see that, sorry. Yeah, I can see it. Can you see that? I can see it. Okay, that was nice, but it's not enough. Because if we're gonna glow, we are glowing to the gods, so. We're gonna go back in with this Nicole Guerrero Anastasia collaboration. Okay, so we're going to use a Morphe Y14 and this Anastasia Nicole Guerrero collaboration and going back in with a little bit of Forever Young and Forever Lit. And we are going to spritz our brush. Let that dry down for about five seconds. And I learned this tip from Mama Mama Mitchell. 
I call him Mitchell because every look that he does is just mm, so good. Okay, I feel like I should tell you guys about this little hair because it's embarrassing and it keeps popping up in every video that I do. So one night, <laughs> I don't know if I want to tell you this. <laughs> one night I came home and I was in a um, rare form, we'll put it that way. <laughs> and I decided that it would be a good idea to not only shave my widow's peak, but like even out my whole hairline. So long story short, <laughs> I cut it or I like did it way too much. And now I just have, okay, what is happening? I have this like pathetic excuse for a bang, which isn't even like a bang. It's just, look at that. Like, what is that? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> it's all bad. <laughs> okay. Putting a little bit of that forever lit on the tip of our nose and on our Cupid's bow. For lips today, I'm going to be going in with the Makeup Studio Lip Liner in the shade Mad Mad Mauve. I've used this in one of my other tutorials and I just think the shade is very, very pretty. And it's kind of cool tone, so it's gonna go with today's look. To achieve that perfect cool tone lip that I'm trying to go for, we are going to be combining Gerard Cosmetics as well as Revolution Beauty. And Gerard Cosmetics is in the shade Skinny Dip and Revolution is in the shade Wishes. So first we're gonna put down the Gerard Cosmetics. And then just placing a little bit of that shade Wishes right in the center. I have a product to tell you guys about. And this product is literally life. It's from Fenty Beauty and it is the all over diamond veil. Let me show you guys this. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is life? I'm gonna swatch this. First of all, it feels like amazing. Can, okay, I'm gonna swatch this for you guys. Look at that pigment and shine. Oh, it's so pretty. Whew. So pretty, okay. So we are gonna use a little bit of this just on our lid and we're gonna use our ring finger and we are just going to tap this over. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna take a bath in this if you guys don't mind, so I'll be right back. <laughs> that is it, you guys. This is our final look. for watching be sure to hit that subscription button before you leave as well as that notification bell so that you guys can get notified every time I upload if you guys have any questions comments or suggestions for future videos please be sure to put them down below and I will see you guys next week in my next one bye